Welcome to this week's episode of Barefoot Travels, week two in our RV restoration project. So last week we shared the big secret surprise with you where we purchased an RV for only $1,200 sight unseen off an auction site. Continuing with our DIY theme, of course it was storm damaged and it did have a tree fall on it during a tornado. It was a write-off for what we consider an easy fix. Once bought, it did have to be moved within 24 hours off the site, and unfortunately, it had no keys, so we didn't even know if it runs. Lucky for us, as you saw last week, it does. This week, Davy does a lot of ripping apart to fix the roof before we can crack on with the interior projects. Don't forget to like, comment, and share if you like our content. It really helps us out. Hope you enjoy this week's video. Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damaged catamaran. We have come so far and are beyond happy to be floating once more. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. Good morning. Welcome to day four. First day was transport. Um, and we've had two days successfully working on the vehicle and uh, today's day four so just feel you in so far it's been going so so well so we know now we've got the motor working we got the generator working minus a fuel pump which we just ordered last night on Amazon uh, but we've got to run in anyway um, we've checked the transmission we've checked the brakes uh, tires have been ordered uh, so basically what it is now is we are down to the cosmetics so the roof and the wall on this side they need to be repaired and i've got two days left before it really starts to rain so the plan is this morning now we know she's drivable we are actually going to drive her and pop in here around the back of the building so we're going to clean some stuff off we're going to clean some move some cars out of the way move some trailers back her in here because that way when i start ripping the roof off and all the rest of it i'm not actually doing it on a public street we might get in trouble otherwise or upset one of their neighbors so we're going to back it into this space here and see if we can get this done before the weather hits us Getting the RV running was a huge positive moment for us. Considering it didn't have keys, we really weren't sure if it was gonna be a good engine or not. The fact that it does run is huge. All right, there she is. She's in place, ready to do the cosmetics. I think I need to trim the tree. So first job might be with a chainsaw up above, so I've got a working space up there. But it looks like here, this driveway kind of needs a trim anyway. So two jobs in one hit. Alrighty, good morning. So back at it today. We got kind of closed down yesterday due to uh, it started to rain. Uh, we're actually due rain again some, this afternoon around three o'clock. Thunderstorms, and then unfortunately Monday, Tuesday. Today is Sunday, by the way. Um, Monday, Tuesday. It's supposed to be rainy all day. So, gonna continue with the roof today. So this is where we got yesterday. So you can see we're covered in plastic. But I got the worst of any damage off or wet boards that sort of stuff. And I started organizing it ready. It's difficult to see with the plastic on here. At the front was a bad area. And at the back, you can see there's a bad area. But I'm going to take you over there in just a second. But uh, unfortunately, yesterday, when, when we actually moved it in here, we plugged it into a 50 amp connection and tested. All the AC units still work. All the roof fans, they still work. So we're in good standings, really, with things seem to work. So it seems to be the cosmetic damage, roof damage. We've got the new membrane. It's all showed up. Got all the parts. Need to run down to Lowe's and get a few more bits and pieces. But I'm going to take you up here. Decided I'm going to start on this part of the project because I want to get the roof closed up. There's no way I'm going to get it done before the rain gets us. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave the plastic in place. And then what I can do is I can just work on certain areas. So this is where a tree actually hit. I'm not sure how much you can see there. I'm a bit close to it. This is where a tree actually hit the RV. Now it doesn't look like I did any damage to the side at all, which is fantastic. But there is some damage. So this is an aluminium framed one. So this is where it dented in. So this is gonna be need bending back into place. Um, 
needs going to be pushing up ever so slightly from the inside but i think what i'm going to do before i talk about how i'm going to do it is i'm going to take it apart because that way there then i can actually show you how we put it back together so first things first we're going to have to get this awning trim off so that's what also holds the membrane on then we can get these little bits of sheet aluminium off they only go up to about here so i can that's a join so if i can get this section opened up here it gives me somewhere i can work and uh, not worry too much about the weather but as for at the moment it's early, it's sunny, it's hot and it's humid. It's a sticky, sticky day. But anyway, let's get cracking. Why am I on a bloody camera every time? You've got to confiscate that camera off you in a minute. You don't film so anything for days, and then me, suddenly you're the, you're the bloody camera tell man. Tell me, Davey, what are we working on right now? What are we working on? I'm cleaning my hands. So Why? I can try and adjust my contact lenses. Because <laughs> I've got a really fuzzy eye. What do we got going on? We've got a little bit of issue with rot. Dry rot. Right. So what happens when you don't seal your windows? Yeah. You get this. But I'm happy that it's aluminium framed and the insulation is hard insulation. So all of this is easy to fix. I'll open, I'll peel back this side, replace it, glue it, put it all back together. And the strip at the bottom is the most important. We've actually, there's, it's gone. There's nothing left. This is what's left of it. Um, but we've just bought a, no, that, pressure, we bought you, pressure you treated. Think that's ants, termites, or just water damage? Water damage, yeah. This is water damage that's turned into, um, turned into dry rot after a while. So. Not termites, I haven't seen any evidence of termites. There was a lot of bugs inside, but they were of the uh, cockroach variety. And spiders, uh, and spiders, spiders. And lots of spiders. Yeah, lots of spiders. But we've exterminated those with bug bombs, so. <laughs> All right, so the weather's starting to roll in. See the big black clouds heading this way, the wind's picked up. So we've packed up the RV with a load of plastic. Uh, We've opened up most of the areas that need an opening up. Uh, I've got all the cargo doors off so I can get to under here. There's a, just a small wooden batten, really. Um, we're going to change that out. I've got an area here to open up. I don't want to do it before this weather. So we're going to take this opportunity to pop down to Lowe's, Lowe's, the hardware store, and pick up the rest of the materials we need. We've got the roofing materials in already. So it's actually great stuff being here in the US. Um, and you can actually find stuff you need and get stuff delivered. I haven't been used to this for so long. So yeah, we'll go do a bit of shopping. I'll take you with us. Uh, get the rest of the bits and pieces we need. And uh, should be about 36 hours from now. The weather's going to go back in our favor. And uh, we'll be able to crack on and get this thing done. Hey, well, hey guys, look at this. Barefoot hasn't seen a hardware store like this for years. After getting all the supplies from Lowe's, the hardware store, which Davey was super happy to go into, um, he started to crack on with repairing the walls and the roof. He actually kept his mouth shut for once, so let's watch these time lapses of him putting the RV back together.
I find Davey always makes things look super easy when he puts things back together. So putting this roof on really wasn't too challenging for him. This is a fantastic step in the right direction. So hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Next week we will show you a little bit more about this RV restoration project before both of us head back to the Bahamas and to Barefoot. See you next week.